Time to get work done before winter. We finally have a little bit of a cool down. Welcome to Appalachia's homestead, folks. Let's get busy. Okay, so I wanted to film my intro before we got in here and cleaned all this up and out. We are resetting an area for our goose before they all start squawking because then you won't hear me. So we have Chinese geese on the farm. And the males are beasts. I love them, but they are territorial. They do a pretty good job at guarding. They're very loud. So if you want to bug your neighbor, that's the one to get. But at times they can be a little bit much. So you need to be aware of that when people tell you to get a goose, get a goose, get a goose. If you're getting the Chinese, depending on your area and what you need, you need to study them. You can hear they're already squawking. Now, this right here is goose. Goose is in here with my mixed up, mixed up chickens at this point. We got cream leg bars, cream leg bar rooster, and a couple of other variety of hens. He's territorial. He can get along with the rooster for a while and then not so much. So I have pulled the rooster. The rooster has been by, uh, been over here in a cage for about two weeks. He was molting. He got a little bit tied up with the goose, so I pulled him to let him recover. He's doing great, and I'm going to put him back in here with his girls. Well, he thinks that they are, the goose thinks they're his now. So I'm going to clean this up. We're going to separate it with some fencing. We're going to make goose his own separate area. So he's still in there, but he's separated because I don't want to pull him out. I like him being over here because they let us know when we have problems, okay? So let's get busy. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so what I think we're going to do is we're going to take the hog panels and we're going to angle it all the way across the full corner of our run. Right now, he's just been walking around. This has just been sitting here. He actually has been putting himself up at night in the coop with the girls that's going to change because we got to put our rooster man back so he stays in his area as long as it's up really well so that's what we have to make sure we have to make sure it's sturdy and of course you need to keep an eye okay because i'm telling you when they get a little hateful moment and they get ornery and they decide to take on one of your chickens they're gonna win no matter how big that rooster is trust me when i tell you Okay, holding it up, getting it all cleaned up. One more nail, one more. Yes, I have the zip ties. I'm gonna cut this. You wanna cut it? Whatever you wanna do, babe, it's your world. Okay. to see your girls big dudes going back in with his girls let's see how this goes <laughs> he's happy we're happy you constantly have to check these items. So what we did is we nailed, we nailed it 
and then we put in more posts, and then we did a lot of zip ties. So it's semi-temporary, but I think it's going to work. They're just doing what they do, but you have to modify things for them to keep them safe and to keep you safe as well. Now, you're going to ask me, what about his pool over here? I probably will put the pool back. The thing is, is we're about to get three days of rain, so I'm just going to keep buckets in for now. Because again, pools can make a big mess in your areas, so you have to modify the weather and what they need as well. So, <laughs> we will see how it goes. We'll keep you posted, and we'll see you on the next video. Good job, guys. Good job.